In our last episode, we made a map with a couple of points, Chattanooga, Pigeon Forge, and since my wiki is about day trips, I want to make a path in between them. So what I'm going to do is edit the page with the map and click this Make a Map link again. Might as well be called the Edit a Map link as well. If there's only one map on the page, it will automatically be loaded into our map editor. And we can scroll down a little bit, and the first thing we do is click where we want the path to start. In this case, Chattanooga. So I click Start a Path. And now as I click the map, these little yellow markers uh, show up that are followed by a bluish trail. And all I need to do is click where I want this trail to go. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go through Maryland. And the, these little yellow markers won't actually show up on the final map. They're just useful for seeing where the path turns. When I'm done, I click Save. And... I can also add some points of interest um, to this path that I just created. So I'm going to say stop for Google clusters. That's uh, going to be equally important to stop for moon pies along the way. Now I'd also like to stop for Krispy Kreme. Actually, uh, let's make sure there's a Krispy Kreme nearby. We don't, we don't just want to assume. Um, that will make an ass of the both of us. So we search for Krispy Kreme. Uh, this little search box will search for cities, businesses, etc. And lo and behold, there's one in Chattanooga. All right. And if we zoom back in, uh, we see there's there. Oh no. So we've got a Krispy Kreme in Chattanooga, a Krispy Kreme in Pigeon Forge, but there's there's really not one in between. This is. It's a tragedy. We're gonna we're gonna have to reroute through Knoxville. That's that's all right. So we we click the Krispy Kreme where we want to start. All right, add that guy to the map. Stop for Krispy Kreme. Save and close. All right. Clear these results, and we're gonna have to reroute. So as I said, these little yellow markers you can click and drag. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna reroute us right through Knoxville, so we can be sure to stop at the uh, Krispy Kreme on our adventure here. And for a little extra precision, I'm going to zoom in so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And all right, we're going to go right through Sevierville, almost there. Almost great. Perfect. Um, unfortunately, this blue path, so if we click off the path um, and see what it looks like, but this blue path looks kind of like a waterway. I want to change that, so I'm going to select the line by clicking it and then click the color box, which will let me select a new color. Um, so instead of, of uh, river blue, I'm going to select uh, something closer to blood red. And, sorry, uh, change the width maybe to three. Opacity is, now we want a better opacity. Let's, let's have 100%, all right. And great, that's what our map's going to look like. So, I scroll down to the dashed box, select everything that I see, and this is very important, don't forget to copy-paste. So you want to copy everything in the dashed box and paste it into the article. Once we're done, save page, and there's our map with a path with all of the attractions along the way.